M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Uniden UBCD 3600XLT digital and analog scanner. Fantastic device, very good value, nice big screen. I recommend you get a leather case for one of these because it's plastic and you don't want to drop it. But anyway, this video is just to show you how to turn on and change the settings of your backlight. So we have a button here which is also the on off button. So we turn it off, hold it down, off. Turn it on. We also have a USB, a micro USB connector on the right hand side, which is quite handy uh, for PC connection. And you can even run this with a color screen. And then the top one is the, is the GPS, which you've never used. So it's a very nice set. Now let's turn on the backlight. So initially you could just go and there it is, but it's gonna time out. So how do we change that setting? Press menu button. So on the right, on the left hand side, and you can see this, but it says menu and function. Turn it back round, press it and look, menu. If you did press function, if we back out again, the menu is also a back button. The, en this is, the enter button is this button here, it's enter. The top button, if you push it down, the volume button, that is also an enter button. Okay, and it does, and of course, it changes the volume. Squelch is F, this is the function button, F. Up here, you've got F for function. And then when you, it does allow other functions, but if you press F, then push down, you get the squelch. Anyway, we're talking about the, the brightness. So press the menu button, the bottom one's the menu. Turn the volume button to the left, just one click until you see display options, two clicks. Press it down and you've got some different settings that you can choose here. So you can adjust the contrast. Let's try that. We've got it quite, I do like it quite dark. It's a lot nicer to look at. Once you've done that, press the back button, which is the menu button. Now we can set the backlight, go up one. Set backlight push down now you've got two options set mode so you've got squelch key press and timeout so squelch means that if you if, if there's not if, if it's receiving a signal if you turn the squelch low it's going to come on with the squelch key press key press is just obviously if you press a key it will come on i mean your battery is going to last longer this these hold three aa rechargeable batteries uh they, they last quite uh, about, about five hours i would say and then the other one is a timeout so if you push down and you can choose seconds it's probably what most people use um, but i leave, leave it on infinite because i tend to use it at home but I, I if you're out and about i think it makes sense and you can see this screen quite nicely in bright sunlight so back out completely we've choose timeout infinite we're going to back out with the menu or just press system scan and that's it, and that's your backlight. But I do think it's a nice device. That's where your, your rechargeable batteries go in there. Just pull it down. Your SD card goes in there as well. Remember these, you can't really, if we call it the term brick. You can't really brick these because everything's on the SD card. It's always going to work well. Look after it, you know. And you've got a headphone jack here at the top. And it's also, I'm pre it might be an IQ out. I don't know. Some are IQ out. It does say select volume yeah. but we'll, we'll find out in the future about that um it covers close call it's got a 4g memory card you can put a bigger one in dmr scanning location based scanning trunking conventional scanning and it's got that feature called close call see if i can quickly find that so push the menu down to close call push down close call let's go close call mode down to that one push and if you put in do not disturb which now let's do priority like so then we'll back out with the menu button or just go to scan for now so we're now close core is now turned on and you can see the little logo there so if i receive a strong signal now and i've got my radio here oh it's already found my my hub net node there it will because i said to it priority it will find that first yeah and it will let it take over. But if you go menu, go down to close call again. I think there is a shortcut way of doing this, but I'll just show you the long way for now. 
um, go down to close call mode instead of priority go back to do not disturb and then it back out with the system button there so now it will only let things through if it's quiet if there's not receiving anything oh, I think that's a really handy function if someone's walking past your house and they're playing a radio if you've got an aeroplane or a train or whatever a bus or a truck and their strong signal strong it's going to come in and that's going to be interesting and you can actually set it to record and you can even set alert lights and things like that which we haven't learned how to do yet so enjoying that so thanks for watching my channel but really this was about the the backlight seven three all the best